Hey you guys, welcome back into my living room. Today I'm gonna to show you four ways how to stretch your shoulders. These are my four favorite ways. There are many more possibilities how to stretch your shoulders, but I'm giving you four that are my favorites. Let's see if it also works for you. These stretches are ideal to do in the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, and actually at any point of the day. Yeah, it's very nice to open up and to get some energy out of there. Let's start. For the first one, we're just gonna look to the wall and we're gonna place our hands above our head. Yes. Give the hands shoulder width apart, not too broad, not too small, just shoulder width apart to start with. Then you're gonna walk your knees back, leave the hands where they are, stay on the knees. Now, if it for the knees is uncomfortable, just take a blanket or a pillow or something nice and comfortable underneath of that. Now, keeping the hands where they are, you're gonna just take your head in between your arms and you're gonna give a big bow to someone. Very good. Opening up the shoulders, the armpits, Beautiful. Try to actively push away from the wall. Try not to just hang. Try to actively push away from the, from the wall to elongate your armpits, sending your sit bones back like you want to sit down. These are the directions. Hold it just a bit longer, almost there. And then slowly come back. Really good. It's important to slowly come back. Be gentle to your body. Because if you, for example, want to push off out of a stretch, your muscle might decide something else that looks more like an injury. So take it calm, easy, gentle to your body. Really listen to it. Another way to stretch this front part is to hold on to your elbows. Place them on the wall. Now let go of the elbows, but leave where they are and make a little house on top of it. So you make a triangle, fold your hands together. Now here again, walk your knees back. And again, you're gonna take a big bow in between your elbows. Very good. Now it is important not to have the direction to open up your elbows. The elbows need to stay where they are. So try to imagine that you have a block in between your elbows and you're pushing against that block. And then from here, you lower yourself down. There we go. Ooh, big, big, big stretch. And here again, hold it for 15 breaths, deep breaths. And then when you're done with the 15 breaths, you're slowly going to push your back out of this position, gently, slowly, and there. Give it a little shake so it neutralizes again. Ooh, big opening. Huh? Love it. Now, the second exercise. You're going to sit next to the wall and you're going to make a big round with your hands with the palm facing to the wall. So it's like you're gonna make a big circle on the wall till you come diagonally back. There you go. Beautiful. This is, by the way, a very beautiful mobility training for your shoulders, just to sit very close to the wall and making beautiful rounds. Yes, but for now, I stay diagonally up. From here, you really wanna take your hand onto the wall and slowly, Come closer with your shoulder. Beautiful. Yes. Then from here on, you can check out. Maybe the stretch increases when you take your arm a bit more down or maybe a bit more up. That depends on your body. So really listen to your body, play around and check it out. 
Then here, you're also going to stay for 15 breaths and then slowly just shift your weight away from the wall and take your arm down. Neutralize. Just give it a shake. Then take also the other arm for the other side. All right. The third way I'm going to show you how to stretch your shoulders is this one. You're going to sit with the back, with your back to the wall. And first you're going to just take one hand flat onto the wall, like this. Like you're giving a high five to someone in the back, like, hey, high five, leave it there. Then you're going to look to the front, try to stretch it out. Very good. And now take with your other arm, you also want to give a high five towards the back. Yeah, take them as close as possible, they allow you, yeah, and then really let them stay onto the wall, and then lower yourself down from here, taking the shoulders, really beautiful stretch in the front of your shoulders, yes. Now here again, you can play around, I also figured out that for me, this stretch is more useful when I come onto my feet and then lower back down like I would sit down on a chair like this bit more extreme beautiful now hold for 15 breaths try not to sink in too much because then the stretch is decreasing try to still look to the front with a proud chest to the front, deep breaths guys, come on, almost there. And then from there on, just let go of one arm and come back. All right, shake it to neutralize. Ooh. My last way comes from the yoga. We're gonna take two arms. We're gonna cross the right over the left and connect the elbows. And then they take the two arms up. Now, what we want to do is we want to take the right hand in front of the left and try to connect these two hands. Sometimes it doesn't work if the shoulders are a bit tight. They might only stay here, but that's already great. So try to, if it works, to hold on to it. Now, roll your shoulders back so they connect to the spine and just elevate the elbows up. Shoulders pushing now. Try not to pop out your ribs. Try to stay connected with your core. Now hold it for 15 breaths and then slowly let go. Neutralize and go to the other side. So then it's left above the right, both arms up. And then you're trying to take the left in front of the right. So the back one in front of the front one. Try to connect, shoulders up. And there, you stay for 15 counts. All right. Now, you have seen four ways how to stretch your shoulders. I'm going to give you one bonus. What you can do at home. Try to find a tennis ball or a hard, solid ball that you can use. Maybe a toy of your pet. This is a, a toy for a dog that I find once in a shop. Um, you can use that or a tennis ball or any ball round thing that is solid, not breakable and safe to use for this. What you do is you're just gonna take the ball onto the wall and place your shoulders or back against it. Beautiful. And then from here, you're just gonna move your body and move your back along this ball against the wall and it will give you a nice massage. But I give you a task. Try to find one point that is a bit more sensitive, a bit more stiff maybe, and try to take little circles around it, just for like 20 seconds or something. Then let go of that ball, shake it loose, and go to the other side, yeah? It's very comfortable if the ball touches the muscle, Try to avoid the spine. So don't go directly on the spine, but next to it. All right.
this was this was it for today i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you can take something out of it let me know leave a comment below and in, then enjoy your day <laughs> all right bye <laughs>